take 0.3 milligrams of this super antioxidant before going to sleep to make your kidneys 10 years younger. And science confirms that. Catherine here, I take care of people suffering from kidney problems and you won't have trouble believing me when I say this. Sleep is a serious issue if you suffer from kidney disease. But I personally met patients who were able to improve their kidney function over the years to lower their creatinine and in order to achieve this, they had to find ways to sleep better. Why is sleeping so important for kidney function? Sleeping is way more important than people realize. Poor sleep is one of the most underrated dangers for our kidneys, according to science. Up to 3 in 5 kidney patients suffer from poor sleep and the result of all those sleepless nights is more than just bad moods and a lack of focus. Yeah, not many people know this. Sleeping less than 6 hours per night is proven to have profound consequences on your kidney health. But luckily for us, there's a natural remedy that really works. This is a super antioxidant that's not just proven to help you sleep better. Taking this one regularly may also help undo some of the damage done by years of extra oxidative stress. This is why they call it a super antioxidant. And guys, today I will also share with you my personal all-natural sleep aid kit and we will also see some foods that can actually make you sleep better. But before that, why do people with kidney problems have trouble sleeping? I don't think it's hard to imagine why someone with kidney disease may not sleep well. Nocturia, a condition that causes you to wake up several times during the night to urinate, is a common symptom of kidney problems. Not to mention itching, another common symptom that can keep you awake at night. Now, there is also another less known reason for poor sleep in CKD. According to studies, the production of a certain hormone is greatly decreased with the progression of CKD. This is why supplementing a natural form of this hormone can really make a big positive impact on kidney function. This is melatonin. Melatonin is a very cheap yet powerful supplement you can buy over the counter even at the supermarket. It's really widely used because, well, it works. Melatonin is very effective in improving sleep quality and duration. Now guys, melatonin also comes with a warning. So stay tuned so I can show you everything you need to know about this super antioxidant. The thing about melatonin is that it basically tells your body when it's time to get to sleep. This remedy is usually marketed for people who travel to different time zones, for people who work night shifts, and for people age 50 or more. You see, the body is naturally supposed to produce melatonin on its own when the sun goes down. However, the kidneys are involved in the production of this hormone, so if you are having trouble getting to sleep on time, it may be because your body is not making enough melatonin. And this is just one of the many benefits this remedy has for kidneys. So let's see what happens to your kidneys when you take melatonin. A study shown that melatonin administration attenuated oxidative stress, inflammation, and restored renal function and structure. According to the researchers, melatonin has a powerful kidney protective effect thanks to its anti-inflammatory property. What this aims to prove is that melatonin may be really effective in protecting the kidneys and not just for the sleep aid it provides. Studies show that melatonin may also improve eye health, reduce symptoms of seasonal depression, and even provide relief from acid reflux. This thanks to its free radical scavenging properties. But there is another thing I want to show you about melatonin. Melatonin is amazing and it can really help you, but it also comes with a hidden danger. What's the hidden danger? What you should know about melatonin is that not all the dosage you may find for sale are safe. Many supplements you can find are way too powerful. Most brands sell it in five. 10 and even 15 milligrams dose. 
Do not take melatonin in these dosages, especially if you are 50 years old or more. While higher doses can't hurt you, except from making you sleep worse, they can reduce even further the body natural production of melatonin. Not to mention that you will be extremely groggy the morning after if you take this much melatonin. So be sure to find the correct dose for you. And there is not a recommended dose for everyone, so stay tuned until the end so I can show you exactly what I do to find the perfect dose. This is going to maximize sleep quality, kidney protection, and completely avoid side effects. What foods do contain melatonin? Goji berries produced by a plant native to China. Goji berries have been touted for their anti-aging effects. They are also high in melatonin and may improve sleep. Try eating this in the evening. And also nuts. Nuts also are excellent source of many antioxidants, healthy omega-3 fats and minerals. And they also have a good amount of melatonin. Pistachios and almonds are among the highest. Try them! Cherries are also a great source, one of the best actually. I often combine cherries with another great source of melatonin. This is actually one of the healthiest foods in the world and it can really protect your kidneys. I shared this special recipe in my video up here, watch it now to know more. What is the correct dose for this remedy? As you may see here, according to medical literature, the correct daily dose for melatonin is between 0.3 mg and 5 mg, taken 1 or 2 hours before bed. Okay, please notice that this is a very large range of dosages. And for most people, 0.3 grams is the best dosage. That is half a milligram. Now the problem is that many studies were done on melatonin and evidence determined that 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams was the best dose, especially in those age 50 or more. People given doses around 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams slept better than those given 3 milligrams or more and had fewer side effects. So the lower, the better. My advice here is to start with a lower dose and increase it only if you really needed to. This is what I actually do. Since I can never find 0.3 mg melatonin at the supermarket, I buy 1 mg pills and I cut them in 3 parts. This is way cheaper than ordering the correct dose on Amazon. For some people, 0.3 mg may be too little. For example, if you wake up at 5 a.m., that could mean you aren't taking enough. So the bottom line about melatonin is that it is safe and effective to improve sleep quality and kidney function. Just be careful with the dosage and as usual, consult your doctor before adding it to your regime. My personal sleep kit. Now guys, when it's time to sleep, there are three things I love to use to make sleep better. My personal sleeping kit is very simple because I only focus on what works fast and reliably. So first thing is melatonin. As I was saying, I always take the smallest possible amount of 0.3 milligrams. Interesting thing is that it works as reliably as the bigger dose but I don't get groggy in the morning and most important, my natural melatonin production is not affected. I can totally skip one dose and I almost will not notice. The second thing here is magnesium. Magnesium is a powerful sleep aid, not to mention that it protects the kidneys by fighting high blood pressure and inflammation. I take it at the same time as melatonin. Third thing here is vitamin D. Okay, never take vitamin D supplement in the evening. Vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin. It tells the body that the sun is up there and it's time to stop taking melatonin and be awake. Taking this vitamin in the morning just after breakfast is a great way to balance our circadian rhythm. Now guys, there is a special beverage I always like to drink when I'm stressed. This amazing recipe doesn't just fight stress and make you sleep better. It's also one of the most powerful natural anti-inflammatories you can find. Fact: These spices, when prepared the right way, have pain-relieving properties that can match those of ODC and SAIDs. 
If you want to know more, watch my video up here and this is all for today. Thank you for watching.